uh, we are going to con uh, consider singular update queue again in this video the link to first video is in the description below now the reason for uh, considering this pattern again is because there were few points i wanted to clarify first of all uh, just two points uh, one is back pressure for example let's say you have this queue and this is getting filled now what will happen either you can have an unbounded queue that is it can grow indefinitely then in that case the memory on this system on which the queue is hosted is going to keep rising infinitely and it is going to impact your system because every resource is limited so one way is to have a bounded queue and it is the general best practice to have a bounded queue so that uh, you can control how much resource utilization is going to happen on your instance Besides that, how are producers going to handle the uh, the situation when the queue is getting uh, filled or queue is getting uh, uh, full? In that case, what can happen is queue can send a back pressure or the clients that are sending the request can handle the back pressure in which when the producer is producing to that queue, in that case, the queue is not going to acknowledge the message immediately. It is going to take some time so that P4 or the producer can get a hint that queue is getting full and queue is uh, and it is providing back pressure so as to not uh, produce into it directly. This is called blocking fashion. Where? Uh, when the queue is getting full, either uh, it is blocking the request. Now, blocking in the sense can be uh, can be taken in two sense. One is in back pressure sense where queue uh, is responding slowly when it is getting full. Other way is when the queue has actually uh, been full, all the messages have been uh, filled in the queue. Then in that case. There are two ways producers can uh, handle or rather queue can provide the functionality. One is blocking way where the queue is uh, full then P4 is going to block on producing the request in the queue. That is P4 is not going to do other work and it is going to block so that whenever the queue is uh, available, queue space is available, it is going to publish in the uh, queue. Another way is non-blocking. In that case, what is going to happen is as soon as the queue goes full, P1, uh, when it tries to publish in that queue, it is going to get an exception or an error. That queue is full, you won't be able to produce more messages in this. So these are the two ways, blocking and unblocking uh, or non-blocking ways. And another is back pressure where when the queue is full, it is going to give hint or it is going to give uh, feedback to the producers that it is getting full. Producers should uh, limit the production of messages in that queue so that the systems can operate optimally. Now, these are the points for single update queue. Thank you and have a nice day.